Hey everybody! Today's video is about my trip to Korakuen in Okayama City. Originally built in 1700, Korakuen is one of the three great gardens of Japan. It's in the Chisen Kayu style, meaning it has a large area of land containing a pond in the center. This trip took place on December 16th, 2022. I live in Wakayama, so I took a train to the Osaka station first. There, I reunited with my longtime buddy Ken, who had just come back from Thailand. Ken lived in Okayama, so we headed to the Shin Osaka station to catch a Shinkansen train. This was a Friday morning and a particularly cold day too. For those who aren't familiar, Osaka city has the Osaka station as well as the Shin Osaka station, which could be confusing for visitors. The Osaka station is right at the heart of the city with major businesses, hotels and so on, but Shinkansen, which are Japan's fastest trains, only stop at Shin Osaka. As such, you often have to go from Osaka to Shin Osaka or vice versa for travel. The two stations are only 4 minutes apart though. We are at Shin Osaka now and this is the ticket counter for Shinkansen. Ticket is kipu in Japanese, so if you ever get lost, this word might be useful for asking around. It seems that the most popular way to get on Shinkansen is to buy a ticket with a reserved seat. This way, you can sit down no matter how packed the train might be. What you're seeing right now are the reserved seats for the train we took, Shinkansen Sakura 553. The cost for one of these from Shin Osaka to Okayama was 6,140 yen. There was also the green car option costing 8,140 yen. Although I don't understand why you would want it frankly. I took the unreserved option costing 5,610 yen, which is the cheapest but it was still comfy. I could charge my phone too. From the Okayama station, we went to Ken's home where he took a good few hours of rest and while he did, I visited the Okayama Prefectural Museum of Art. Although, honestly, I didn't understand what any of this was about so I left fast. So fast like Carl Lewis. But hey, then I went to Korakuen which was the real deal. For just 410 yen, you can roam around this beautiful garden covering 133,000 square meters in which you have lawns, ponds, hills, tea houses, and streams. The koraku in the name is derived from an ancient Chinese idiom, senyu koraku, which means grieve earlier than others, enjoy later than others. It means something along the lines of, as a leader, you should worry about the problems before other people do, and you should only take pleasure after other people have done so. Frankly, I'll take pleasure before everyone else and I will enjoy forever, but that's that. Korakuen is located right next to Okayama Castle. I hope you can see in the top right corner. It was built by the head of the Okayama domain during the Edo period whose name is Ikeda Tsunamasa. You can go from the castle to the garden and vice versa by crossing the Tsukimi bridge which is just a hundred meters long. So what did I do in the garden exactly? I arrived at the main entrance and tried to check out the museum but it was temporarily closed. First I walked on this straight path and that's where I captured the clip with the castle far ahead. Then I walked like this and saw the Sawanoike pond up close. I saw some cut out curbs known as Nishikigoi in Japanese. Then I went across the stream by stepping on the stones, went up the Yushinzan hill, took a photo from the top, and came back down on the path I was along. From there, I walked along the pond a little and checked out the Nakanoshima Island. Then I walked the rest of the path along the pond and took pictures of the Jarishima Island. I also went to the western part of the garden where there's the famous Enyo Tea House, but I didn't think it was that much of a deal, frankly. Okay, let's get back to the footage. That's the Sawanoike Pond on the left. The pond has three islands in it and we can see two of them here. The one on the right is the Nakanoshima Island which has a tea house. Apparently, you can book it to enjoy tea there. And on the left is the Minoshima Island. We are about to see some lovely Nishikigoi or Karad Carps. Apparently, Nishikigoi has its roots in Niigata Prefecture according to the prefecture's website. Around 200 years ago, some black carps that had been bred for food underwent mutations and they began to be kept aside for enjoying beauty. We don't eat carps very much in Japan except in some prefectures like Nagano and Yamagata. I myself had never eaten carps until I went to Pakistan age 37. As a side note, carps are called lohu in Pakistan and fried lohu is some of the best foods ever. Not gonna eat these carps though. <laughs> A 
it was 4.30 pm and the garden closes at 5 in this season, would be nice to visit in summer too but I read someone's review warning about the hot sun, as there's practically no shade here and Okayama is a sunny prefecture. Now we are approaching the Yui Shinzan Hill by way of crossing the stream on the stepping stones. Excuse my slow walking here, maneuvering carefully, I didn't come here for bathing or anything so. I tried to find out the meaning of the name Yui Shinzan to no avail, but I did find out that the hill was created by the son of the original creator of the garden, named Ikeda Tsugumasa. If you are new to Japanese culture, you might be thinking there are so many masas in our names, that's just a coincidence, don't waste your time there. The red leaves over there are on the maple tree. The Japanese words for maple tree are kaede and momiji and they are used somewhat interchangeably. The red leaves themselves are called koyo and it refers to red leaves on any tree, not just maple tree. We are at the top of the Yuishinzan, where you probably have the best view of the garden. The greens you see at the top right are tea plantation, and the lot in front of that is rice field. According to okayamakanko.jp, the tea harvest festival takes place in May every year. From this angle, we can see all of the three islands in Sawanoike. The one on the most left is the Jarushima Island. By the way, pond is Ike in Japanese, hence the name Sawano Ike. These are azalea trees known as Tsutsushi in Japanese. Their flowers blossom in April and look kinda like this when they do. They are typically in pink like this or white in Japan. Now we are leaving the Yui Shinzan Hill and getting back on the path around the Sawano Ike pond. Before we get to the next interesting spot, I'll tell you what I did on the day after this shooting. And that was to visit Kurashiki city for its historical quarter. Kurashiki was an important hub for transporting rice across Japan during the Edo period, so they had to store the crop before it got shipped. And the city still has canals and storehouses preserved for aesthetic appreciation. The pine tree is Matsu in Japanese. We have the black pine and the red pine, and they are named after the color of the bark. Not sure which one these are, but probably black. Now we are face to face with the Nakanoshima island which has a tea house. To avoid confusion, this is not a tea house per se where they serve you like a cafe does. Rather, it's an empty house that can be used for many purposes including tea ceremony, flower arrangement and so on. And like I said earlier, you can book it to have your own tea ceremony for example. According to the Korakuen website, the rental fee is 1890 yen for 3 hours. Now this girl in white jacket who spoke Chinese looks on her own but she was constantly speaking with her boyfriend and the boyfriend apparently was shooting videos of her from the hilltop while giving her directions on the phone. I admit I'm jealous about both the teamwork video recording and the dating life. I think the guy was telling her to look into the water. Look into the water like Titanic. There's a house at the top right with benches covered in red. That's the tea house in the normal use of the word. You can sit there and order drinks and foods. Tea house is chaya in Japanese and this place is called Hukuda Chaya. Although, you guessed it, I didn't bother stopping at it even for a second. You know, I'm fast like Carl Lewis. I'm fast like Carl Lewis. I'm fast like Carl Lewis in terms of avoiding eateries in touristy places. And this is the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you thought it was useful or entertaining, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos about culture and travel. Have a nice one. Bye.